fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter Swirl, and today we're here in Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, for the don'ts of visiting Bratislava, because a lot of people skip this place, and they really shouldn't, because it's a cute town, wonderful people, all kinds of good stuff. But I'm not going to talk about the good. I'm going to talk about some of the fun don'ts and the, the serious don'ts when you do come here. And my first don't for you, and a lot of tourists worry, if I'm going to go someplace, am I bust the bank? No. The first don't I have for you is, don't worry, you will not bust your bank coming here to Bratislava. Slava. This place is great for hotels, for sites, for restaurants, for transportation. This is a super affordable place. A lot of people say it's really, really cheap. I don't think it's really, really cheap. I think it's really, really affordable to come here and you get a lot of really big bangs for your bucks. The restaurants here, oh my gosh, it is so good eating here. The dumplings with the goat cheese and the, the duck and all the really great food they have here. You could eat for a fraction of the price that you would pay in Vienna, which is just one hour away. I mean, literally, you take that local train to get here. It's an hour and like six minutes every half an hour. It's awesome. So you do have that. So that's one. Don't worry about breaking the bank. All right. And another thing that's really cool about coming here is don't be afraid of the locals. I know a lot of people when they go to the old Eastern Europe or Central Europe, as we call it nowadays. OK, they get kind of like freaked out about it, like, oh, what are the people going to be like? Honestly, in Slovakia in general, the people have been fantastic. I have a number of Slovakian friends. I've been to Bratislava quite a few times over the years and every time we've come we've had a great time with people showing us around telling us what we should eat what should we should do what we should drink what we should try it's been great i mean i remember we were here around nikolaus in december a few years ago when kayla was little and the hotel we we're at Nikolaus came and left candy for him outside the hotel because he wanted to make sure we had a great time when we were here. The restaurants we've gone to, they're like, well, you want something Slovak? You know, this might be a better choice. Like today, I had the dumplings with the bacon and the sheep cheese, the goat cheese on top. Oh my God, it was so good. But the people here in Bratislava, I mean, it's a capital of Europe, but the people are not like capital city people. So that's one of the great things about coming here. Though my next don't for you is, they may make fun of you about this, but if you say, oh, the UFO bridge, no, it's the UFO. Okay, UFO bridge, okay, or tower, however you want to call it. You'll see when you go up to the castle, when you're here, okay, you'll look, you'll turn around. If you go to the castle, make sure you turn around and look at the view, okay? Because you'll see Old Town, Bratislava, which is beautiful. And then you'll see the, the communist area buildings out in the distance, and you'll see this bridge that's like a UFO on top of it. Yeah, remember. It's UFO, okay? Just know that. So don't call it UFO. But also I would say is don't be surprised. It kind of is a tourist trap for the food, but it's not a tourist trap for the views. The views are really cool there, okay? Now, when you're walking around the old town, it's a cute old town. It's very nice. But one thing you don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about foot strain. Look, the compact historic center of Bratislava is easy to ground, maybe 10 or 15 minutes to walk from one side to the other, but there's all these great buildings and churches and like Michael's Tower or Michael's Gate you can go through. There's all kinds of nice stuff, but it's very compact, so it's easy to walk around and it's not a lot of walking, so your feet appreciate that, especially if you're coming from Prague or Budapest or, or Vienna. This is much more of a easy to manage kind of place. And my next don't for you is when you're walking around, don't forget to look down. You'll see this one statue where there's a guy like peeked under the ground, you know, like sticking out. It's a big Instagram place here. But the thing is, don't forget to look down to see him, but also don't forget to wait your turn to get your picture with him because you'll see a lot of tours, especially if you have group tours coming through or, or tour guides bringing people through, they will show people this and they'll line up and they'll get picture after picture after picture. So so sometimes wait for the tour groups to go and then hop in and get your picture. So my next don'ts for you actually have to do with when you're doing tourist stuff here in the old town. One don't I have for you is don't feel like you have to go into the main Bratislava castle here in the old town. There's not a ton of stuff in there. I mean, it's nice to go through, but don't feel like you have to go there if you're running low on time, because I know a lot of people just come here for a day trip to enjoy the fantastic food at fantastic prices. You should stay longer. Take my word for it. OK, but if you're at the castle, you don't necessarily have to go in. Like I said, there's not a lot to do. There's another castle, Castle Ruins. You can go down about 10 kilometers down the way. Devon Castle, that's kind of a cool thing to see. I like that a bit better, but I will say, if you do go up to the Bratislava Castle here, like I said before, don't forget to turn around to get the views, but don't feel like you have to actually go in, okay? And that kind of leads me to the next don't. Don't feel you have to get the Bratislava pass or the Bratislava card or whatever you want to call it. You know how every city has that pass that gives you entry into a bunch of museums and public transportation, all those things. Unless you're going to be going to a lot of museums here in Bratislava, you don't really need to get it. And also, it's not that hard to walk around, like I said. So 
it doesn't really pay off, I feel, in the end to get it. I mean, you can, it just makes it easier for you to go in because you already have everything taken care of, but don't feel it's one of those things you have to do. And the thing is though, when you come into Bratislava, most likely you'll be taking the train in from Vienna and you'll be coming to the train station. Now, my don't for that is, don't let the train station freak you out. Look, the train station there, it's from a bygone era, let's say. I mean, it could use a little um, sprucing up, let's say. And so don't let it freak you out because you'll come out of there and go, oh my goodness, what did I do? Buses, taxis, trams leave from there to bring you down to this beauty. It's about 20 minutes to walk from the train station down to the old town, old town to Michael's Gate. You have that, so it's pretty easy to do, but don't let it throw you off because that doesn't give you a really great first impression when you come here because once you get down here you understand how beautiful this city is and when you are here my next don't for you is don't worry about seeing too many tourists you notice it's a beautiful day today I'm here in the summer and there's very few tourists here yeah Bratislava is not on a lot of people's tourist maps yeah there are some people that want to come here because it's cheap drinking and eating or affordable eating and drinking but the thing is is you just don't get a lot of tourists coming here because when you think oh well I want to go to Prague I want to go to Budapest and Vienna and then like Bratislava is like a, an add-in later and so you don't have a ton of tourists here so it's easier to get an accommodation easier to get a, cha a table at a good restaurant all kinds of stuff like that so don't worry about all the tourists around you can actually enjoy this city without being overrun now of course in some days in the summer when there's a lot of day trippers yeah you could be but in general no worries now you know I did tell you about the cheap eating and the, all these kind of things but I will say one thing don't overdo the food when you're here because it is very fat food like it's it's mark inducing food. If you catch my chins and stuff like that, you've got a lot of fat. You've got a lot of cream. The dumplings here, oh my God. The If you get like the delicacies that have like the smoked meats and stuff like that and the duck, I mean, it's just very fat, heavy food here and you will love it. It is fantastic, but don't overdo it, okay? Because you will have some tummy trouble because you just eat too much and you might want to make sure you don't bring the belt that's just a little too small. You want to give yourself a couple buttons to go, not the good way, but the bad way out because you will eat really well and really affordable here and lots of it okay and I do suggest if you do have some of the fatty meals have a digestive act afterwards the apple digestives are popular here um, I grab one of those it makes life so much easier because you're like oh it's so good <sighs> you have that you're like oh I can go get back to sightseeing, no problem, enjoy the city. So that's really cool. So there are obviously a lot more don'ts about Bratislava. If you have more, put in the comment section below. I will say one thing. I know a lot of people come here for like their bachelor weekends and bachelorette party weekends and stuff like that for a good time. There's lots of clubs and bars and stuff like that. But one thing I will tell you, don't mess with the bouncers when you are here at the club. They do not have a sense of humor. They do not care who you are. They do not care about your money. They will put you down if you need to be put down. So do be careful with that and just be like, you know, thank you for letting me in and just move on. Okay. I just want to let you know about that. But overall, Bratislava is a really great city. If you're, even if you can only come for a day trip from Vienna, it's well worth it. If you're coming from Budapest, going to Vienna, why not stay here for a night or two? I know I've stayed here for multiple nights. I've had a one night stay over. I'm here for a day trip this time. And it's just great for anything you want to do. So do check it out. If you want to learn more, we have some old videos. I mean, like 10 years ago videos, but they, 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 they still cover a lot of good points on the five things you love and hate about Bratislava, the top 10 sites about Bratislava. We have a new video, 10 things that shock tourists when they come to Slovakia, because my God, this is like an outdoors, like dreamland, okay? And they're all on our website at waltersworld.com. You can read the blog version or you can watch the videos like here on YouTube and other places. Um, we're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, all those places. It's all at Walters World. And we do appreciate your likes, subscriptions. If you do like videos like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and we put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Anyway, I'll say bye from here in Bratislava.